Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level further maths. Here we're looking at how we would find the intersection between a line and a plane and the coordinate at that intersection. Uh, so we can finish off answering questions from exercise 9e. So the point at which a plane is going to intersect a line will be at an individual coordinate. We just need to do a check first that um, the two planes aren't going to be um, travelling parallel to each other. Um, a quick way of doing that is to do the dot product of um, these two vectors here and if it comes out to be zero then they're going to be travelling um, in the opposite direction to each other, in, in the parallel direction to each other. Um, so that's not going to be the case in this question here. So let's have a look at a visual diagram of what's going on here. We've got a line that's intersecting the plane at a coordinate. Now the equation of the line is going to be this thing here, minus 1, 1, minus 5, plus lambda 1, 1, 2. What we could effectively do there is just then combine the two uh, vectors together into a single vector that looks like this. Minus 1 plus lambda, 1 plus lambda, and minus 5 plus 2 lambda. These are effectively going to be the values of x, y, and z for this coordinate here. Uh, but we just don't know what the value of lambda we're going to use yet. For the plane, <clears throat> the equation of the plane is this, r dot 1, 2, 3 equals 4. For, so effectively what we've got here is that the r position here is a position that's anywhere on the plane, including potentially the coordinate x, y, z. So we've effectively now got an x, y, z appear here, and an x, y, z appear here. We know that x, y, z is equal to this, and x, y, z dot this is equal to 4. So what we're effectively going to do is just substitute in the equation of the line into the equation of the plane. So in this case here we're going to calculate minus 1 plus lambda, uh, 1 plus lambda and minus 5 plus 2 lambda dotted with 1, 2, 3 equals 4. So it's effectively, we can therefore substitute the expression from the line into the expression for the plane. So what we need to do is do the dot product of this and you'll get uh, this big long um, equation here equals 4 on the right hand side because your plane equals 4 and from this equation here we should be able to work out lambda. So rearranging our formula here and we get lambda is 2, perfect. So what we can do now is we can use our value of lambda uh, in the equation of our line and work out the exact coordinate that it will intersect at. So substitute that in and we get the coordinate of 1, 3, minus 1. So that is the point at which the line intersects the plane. So it's not really that difficult, really. It's just from the equation of your line, create a single vector that incorporates both the position and the direction vector dot and then substitute that basically into the equation of your plane. Okay, so your turn to have a go at this question here then. I've put the same question on, just phrased in two different styles when we're looking at the equation of the plane. So we see two different ways that we can substitute it into the same plane. But have a go at the first one and hopefully you'll be able to figure out what you need to do for the second one. Okay then, so let's have a go at this question here then. Find the coordinate of intersection between the plane, blah and blah. Okay, so for L1, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to write a big combined vector between the, between the position and the direction vector. So 1 minus 2 lambda, 1 plus lambda, and 1 minus 4 lambda. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute that in as R, uh, into the equation of this plane. So from the equation of the plane, I'm going to substitute in 1 minus 2 lambda, 1 plus lambda, and 1 minus 4 lambda. Dot that with 3 minus 1 minus 6. And the answer to that is going to equal 1. Now do the dot product on this, and we're going to get 3 minus 6 lambda minus 1 minus lambda minus 6 plus uh, 6 times 4 is 24 lambda equals 1. 
Uh, now simplifying this, what are we going to get? We're going to get uh, on the left hand side minus 6, minus 7, so that's going to give us um, 17 lambda. And then on the right hand side, um, we're going to get 1, add 1 is 2, add 6 is 8, take away 3. We're not going to get something very nice here at all, are we? Um, so 2, 8, 5. So lambda in this case here is going to equal 5 seventeenths. So all we need to do now, I say all, it's uh, going to be a difficult calculation here, substitute in um, lambda equals 5 seventeenths into line 1. And what I'll probably use is this version of line 1 I created here. So 1 minus 2 times 5 seventeenths, that would be 1 minus 10 seventeenths, so that would be 7 seventeenths. Uh, question, uh, for the y coordinate here, that's going to be 1 plus 5 seventeenths, so that's going to be 22 seventeenths. And for question number, um, so for, for the z component, it's going to be 1 minus 4 lots of 5 seventeenths, that's 1 minus 20 seventeenths, that would be minus 3 seventeenths. So this is the coordinate it's going to be at then, 7 seventeenths, 22 seventeenths, and minus 3 seventeenths. How would we do this question here? Well, let's do exactly the same thing as what we did here. 1 minus 2 lambda, 1 plus lambda, 1 minus 4 lambda. And we need to recognize now that the top row here is the x variable, the second row here is the y variable, and the third row here is the z variable. So what we can effectively do is into the plane substituting these expressions here. So into the plane is going to go 3 lots of 1 minus 2 lambda minus 1 plus lambda. So you can see here we're substituting in x where x is here, y where y is here, and then it's going to be minus 6 times 1 minus 4 lambda equals 1 on the other side. And now we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did on the left hand side, so it's going to be minus 1 minus lambda minus 6 plus 24 lambda equals 1 and we've now got exactly the same equation that we did down here, so I'm not going to go any further with that because you can just follow the left hand side. Okay, so that's how we do these types of questions here, intersecting a point, so intersecting a line through a plane is just substituting the equation of the line into the equation of the plane working out what lambda needs to equal, and then once you've got lambda, bung that back into the equation of the line, and that will be the exact coordinate of your intersection point. All right then, so we've finished the um, videos for exercise 9e, so do have a go through exercise 9e before we move on to the monster exercise that is exercise 9f. We've got about seven or eight videos there, so make sure you're well prepared by having go at lots of questions from exercise 9e. Thanks very much for watching.